And I'm Peter Stewart. Thanks for listening. Yesterday we were talking about the first step on creating a character voice. And I said that uh, the first step is using your ears. Yeah, listening to how other people speak. Really listening, not just hearing them. What do I mean about that? Well, truly paying attention to the voices that you hear around you. The accent kind of goes as a bit of a given. That's going to be quite obvious. But also their pitch projection, pace and so on, all of those elements we've looked at before and with which you should now be familiar. Where they speak from, don't be clever, they can say their mouth, but their chest, their nose and so on. What kind of voice have they got? Where is their voice coming from? Where is that sound really resonating? In the head, in the nose, in the mouth, in the chest, in the throat? How they convey emotion in their voice How do they or might they speak when they're frustrated, sneaky, passive-aggressive, inspired or or indecisive? Their mannerisms or vocal quirks, do they sniff every few words? Have they got a slight lisp, a stop, start, delivery, maybe, develop? So don't just hear these voices, really, truly listen to them. You're not trying to do an imitation, but you're going to be taking some of the elements or essence of that voice, and maybe some essence and elements of somebody else's voice, and mixing and merging and coming up with your own character creation. And we're going to be talking a bit more about that tomorrow, as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and voiceover voice continues from London. I'm Peter Stewart. (laughs) 